Do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating through the wind, wanting to start again? <laughs> Ugh, that was horrible. But I've stolen it from one of them. I also realized I did not. Oh my god, it smells so good. So today we are going to try out the Birds of Paradise hair color. For now, I'm gonna just do a little strand test and see how that goes and then we'll see the rest of my hair back in purple now i already have bleached hair i just want to see how the color works with the green so that it doesn't go into a weird shade i don't like it says as well that you should patch test and it works better on pre-lightened hair so if you have virgin black hair or whatever like unbleached hair it won't show up as vibrantly they do have some bleach kit but i didn't know how to do bleach myself so i went and got it done the first time a palo. This is basically just for me to recolor on my own. Okay, for starters, let's section out a bit of my hair so that I can get a small strand. I'll do this one and move everything else away. Make sure to wear some kind of night suit t shirt or t shirt you don't care about as if you're going to play holy. And now, I also realized I did not. Oh my god, it smells so good. I opened it and I just had to stop in the middle of that sentence. It just smells amazing. Now I understand why everyone had that reaction in all the YouTube videos I watched before this. Oh my god, I want to eat it. Don't know that. Looks stunning. Didn't buy a brush and I didn't realize that just the jars don't come with brushes. So I've stolen my... Uh, I actually don't know whose this is and we are going to use it on this and I don't have any foil or anything this is as home DIY as it gets so it, you're supposed to apply it on dry hair and I'm gonna use my hands also to kind of work in the color and once we do this we'll just leave it for half an hour this is mostly to see if it plays well with the green underneath my ears will be purple. Um, to avoid, you know, color on the rest of your body, I think Vaseline is a good idea in general. I forgot to apply it, but you should definitely apply it. Just, okay, now it feels like everything is coated. You should break up the hair into small sections so that it really gets in. Because sometimes when it clumps together, you'll think that, oh, I've applied it, but then the inner parts are not getting in. We'll be back in half an hour. Okay, so there's a hint of purple, but it's not there yet. It's mostly blue. It's really pretty though. So I think I'm gonna need to do at least 60 minutes and also maybe do it twice or thrice, depending on how much time it takes for the color to pick up on my hair. But I do have to say that my hair feels so soft right now. It almost feels conditioned, which is bizarre. I, I didn't really see a lot of color bleeding. It just was the initial layer and that's it. If nothing else, I think it at least made my hair look a little better. Um, I like this blue that I've got going because this snot green does not look good anymore. I decided to take the excess that was on the brush and put it onto my hair. Uh, for another 30 minutes. Okay, now you can see some more color in here. I guess on my hair it doesn't, it takes a lot more time to show up. There is definitely some purple in there. I don't know if the camera is catching it. Okay, so we are continuing from the last time when I patch tested it and the instructions on their website say for just shampoo your hair and blow dry it so it's clean and the color deposits properly. So I did that and I used my trusty and very gentle sunsilk sachet and um, I'm just gonna blow dry it quickly just no styling or anything just a simple blow dry to dry it up and then we'll move on to doing all of my hair okay it's dry now man I love the Dyson so much my hair never feels fried and I'm gonna use this comb. It has this really nice like pointy end so I can section my hair where the colored portion is because only the bottom half is colored. I'm gonna use crinkle violet and if you want instructions, there, there is actually a barcode on the jar itself. It has really detailed instructions. I did not carry gloves. So we are just going to wing it with my hands and the brush. 
uh, I do not advise being this unprepared. I just wanted to do this in the middle of the night. It's not so good. I know it will get on. Oh, I should have taken my chain off. I'll just do that. Okay, so after round one, what I'm realizing is it's better to do one have gloves obviously and two to take small sections of your hair color it that way don't do it the way i'm doing it this is not an ideal method also i didn't put plastic around my shoulders do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating through the wind wanting to start again <laughs> I made my mom bulldog clip a plastic bag as a bib because I forgot that I might need that. Uh, let's continue. So small sections of hair. This is not very neat or ideal, but it's fun. It's like finger painting when you were kids and you know in like school when you would do this. It's really fun. I would suggest put plastic around everywhere you are as well, not just on your front. <laughs> The nice thing is it smells so good. I used to hate that ammonia smell that um, colors have. Ugh, that was horrible. This is like, honestly, I wish I had gloves, but your hands are way more effective than any brush if you are doing it for yourself. Uh, so if you want to avoid looking like a smurf, I would say definitely find gloves, even if it's a plastic bag and your hand is just through it. Yeah, I didn't do that and I am regretting my life decisions. Why did I do this? Uh, this is with like three washes, so it should go. At least my nails I can paint over. Okay, the amount of plastic increased because I didn't want it getting on my neck and having a hand situation on my neck. But yeah, it's been about half an hour. I know it says 10 to 20 minutes, but I just wanted to keep it on for longer. So I'm just going to wash it off off camera and I will be back. I washed it off. I think the color has actually held better this time than when I did the test before. And I'm just using the same t-shirt that I wore to sort of do the basic drying. I don't want to use a towel. Actually, a lot of blue in here, not just purple like when i look at it up close like this it's this very nice royal blue shade i'm just gonna do this much for now i don't want to go through smoke hands again uh let's dry it okay i'm pretty happy with what i can see at least the dirty green is gone for now the basic drying is done so i'm gonna just use this schwarzkopf osis flat liner it's a heat protection spray and it's really good and i'm also gonna use the l'oreal extraordinary oil serum i love this and it basically really softens hair while it's still wet and you can see the shine it added instantly oh my god it is stunning well, just look at that. <laughs> oh my god. So this was my hair color. Like the green became this color. And now, just look at that blue. Wow. And then from this, which I still need to do, to this, it's so pretty. Yeah, I've I missed some spots. See? Mm. So now there's a gradient. Yeah. Second touch up. And I braided my hair and I did this cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could have braided your hair and come over. Guys, please make this into a perfume. Like, that's all I want. Because, my god, I. Can you. <sighs> it smells so good. So, first, we will be doing. 
where is a strand